What is up guys, this is Derek aka Skyscope here, and huge news was released regarding MapleStory 2. Um, in the background you're going to be seeing some uh, MapleStory 2 gameplay from the Korean server, but the huge update on MapleStory 2 was the fact that the global release for MapleStory 2 has been confirmed, it's on the horizon, and right now you can sign up for the closed beta, and let me pull up the little... Uh, the little browser thing so I can keep up and give you guys all the correct information because I'm sure a lot of you like me want to sign up for this closed beta as fast as you possibly can and I will shill for Nexon all all day over this like come on I got closers on my channel uh, I played Hyper Universe like come on Nexon show me some love come on I I'm your boy I've been playing MapleStory and all these other Nexon games since I was like a child so you know why I'm hype about this, and I saw like people like under the Maple Story uh, two trailer, like oh my god, like people have completely like graduated college and high school over the time that they've been sitting waiting for this to come out. So I think this that this is like a really big thing, and that people need to know about this as much as possible. And they do have kind of the big. Um, rollout calendar thing with our social media that I'll get into later but yeah in the background of this video of course like I said I'm on the Korean server and I'm playing on my berserker um, it's a low level berserker so you can kind of maybe see the types of things that you'll be doing around your low levels in this game and um, one thing that I do have to say is I can't wait for this game to come to English or you know it's gonna be a global release so it's going to have multiple different language drops you know yeah, Spanish European languages so you know French all that all that other stuff and um, it's gonna be really sick this game has a decent story and it's like the story in MapleStory 2 is streamlined and I remember in MapleStory 1 like you kind of noted the story a little bit but it was more like you run around socialize with people and beat up on you know cute monsters like slimes and stuff that's what maple story is really about all the bright colors we love those things so maple story 2 is coming up and you can sign up for the closed beta now until may 6th so may 6th is when the closed beta is the signups are cut off and the actual closed beta will start may 9th and it will end May 16th so it's a week's closed beta and um, you know you can check your you know sign up registration or whatever for it and I haven't been accepted yet but that's okay I get it Nexon I only signed up a couple days ago but it, come on it's, it's me it's your boy and I gotta say for the small amount of MapleStory 2 that I've actually played on the Korean server it's been a ton of fun and a huge nostalgia trip um, some of the music from the game isn't playing right now because, you know, that's just my channel. I put in different music behind my gameplay and all that. But, like I said in my previous MapleStory 2 video, on which the comments were pretty much exclusively, when is this game going to come out? And I was like, oh, I don't know, it might come out. It may be announced sometime around the end of this year or maybe early next year. But no, it's coming a lot faster than we thought. Closed beta in May. That's awesome. But yeah, this game is super nostalgic. Um, all of the music, like Hennessy's Kerning City, they're all like HD remixes of their original. So that's fucking amazing. The fact that you'll walk into like a place like Hennessy's or Kerning City and you will get the hardest nostalgia hit that you've probably gotten in a while. It's so sick. Like all the worlds are very colorful. And um, I remember some people were kind of uh, skeptical on the whole like 3D like block style or like the whole Maple Story art style and aesthetic in general and I can just tell you it is a huge amount of fun like you can just jump around on the walls there are cool mounts that let you fly it's just really really sick and I just gotta say that like for like I said the small amount that I play in this game I'm playing this berserker and I I'm playing a striker that's like around level 30 something um, all the dungeons in this game they're all interesting they all have their own flows to them I mean I'm doing a story mission right now and sometimes I'm not gonna lie my eyes must start glowing just like how my characters was when she was riding in that minecart like 
there are so many cool things in this game, including your like your characters' expression themselves. Um, if you didn't see it in the last video that I uploaded, I'll probably I'll probably put that on the screen somewhere. Um, that was like there is a lot of like customization in the game. Like you can design your own clothes and stuff. Like my uh, my striker, she's wearing a Thrasher sweatshirt and a Supreme hat. And it's super funny because I was like, okay, these are the closest like skaterish things that I can get because you know I skateboard, I love that shit. And um, I was like, you know, I bet that if this was global or in America, there would be even way more stuff to cater to me and would be right up my alley. And I'm sure that that goes for everybody too. Like, there's a custom shop in the game. It's super sick. If you haven't heard about it for Maple Story Two, you should you should at least check it out. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of like the the whole socialization aspect of Maple Story Two is way more prevalent than it was in Maple Story One because I remember the very very old commercials that Maple Story uh, One would have, and they would um, they would kind of promote it as a social game. You know, like you go on, you talk to your friends, you hang out with your friends, all that. But really, what you would kind of get when you go into Maple Story One is you kind of get in there. Yeah, you would talk with your friends. You would have a lot of time. You do emotes, all that stuff. But a lot of it was progressing your character and grinding and all that other stuff. Um, grinding in this game, honestly, to me, doesn't seem to be too big of a chore or a problem because I don't know. It's just well, what I guess maybe it's new. And two, it's just so colorful and fun. The enemy models look great. All the character models in this game really look nice. Um, it's just a really cool experience. Like, look at these B-Boys over here. Like, they go out of the way to just put these little things into the game that are like references or whatever else that you can just really laugh at. And um, I go over here and I just like wave to this person and they wave back. So, of course the community for Maple Story 2 is super friendly. And a boss just spawns over here. She's gonna help me kill that. But um, yeah, there's also a ton more mini games and there's like a lot of player housing stuff that you can do. So the customization for MapleStory 2 is crazy. Like, come on, clothes, player housing, and some of the player housings are huge to the point where it's like, people will just treat their house, treat your house like it's theirs, and they'll be like, your house has all the cool shit, let's just hang out here all day. And that's what sometimes happens, and that's what I mean by like the social aspect is way huge on MapleStory 2, and I can't wait to hang out with all my friends and meet new people on the game because there's only really so many people I can you know, you know communicate with in Korea because of like my language like you know issues and stuff like that you know I don't know much Korean at all like if any you know but um yeah this game is going to kind of be like the social butterflies you know game I think I think that people of all ages and cultures can really gravitate to this game you know if you like the kind of cute aesthetics that it puts on and even if not I mean the gameplay in the game just feels good um, you know it feels like you're jumping around all these cubes and stuff and you can just like you can do things on the environment that you probably didn't think that you could like I said you can just climb up on a wall straight up without a ladder like look at right here like I'm just kind of walking across this pipe just so I can get to this one zone faster and um, that's really cool they've really opened up the game with this new aesthetic that they've put on it and I gotta say that I love it because any other way like if they went if they kept the 2d I'd probably be okay with it but this huge jump while it may have shocked a lot of people really made me look at the game because if I saw a 2d maple story 2 I would have been like oh you know okay it's what I, it's what I would have expected you know but seeing this game and playing it it's just a ridiculous amount of fun and like I said a lot of the stuff especially the story is streamlined like you're gonna be getting cutscenes like there are right now and I just gotta say like that's a lot of attention to detail that they put into this game and I can't wait to play it but on to other things right now Nexon is doing an event called the Maple Story 2 Road Trip which pretty much consists of the community working together to earn prizes for the Maple Story closed beta release and for the official release, and we'll be able to keep these um, rewards into when the full game drops. So I'm just gonna kind of go down the list and kind of give you guys a rundown of the things that you can do to, you know, kind of promote the game and 
the first like I think 10,000 people that fully complete this will automatically be accepted into the closed beta. So the things that you'll have to do to kind of do that are um, share the beta sign up news, follow them on Twitter and Instagram, um, share the gameplay trailer, introduce yourself on the forums, um, take a few quizzes, and yeah that's it. So pretty simple. Um, you're pretty much promised uh, closed beta entry if you are one of the first people to complete all of these things and I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I will probably go ahead and do this and more so yeah this is kind of like a show video in itself like I'm kind of spewing about MapleStory 2 right now because I mean come on like I love the game it was a big part of like my childhood and I think that uh, other people like and other kids can really get into this game maybe more than Maple Story 2, uh, 2 or Maple Story 1 rather because Maple Story 1 is kind of in a weird state I gotta say it's been around for a long time um, it maybe hasn't aged too well for some people but I think Maple Story 2 will put people back on the let's go socialize in a super cute game and go and beat up on cute shit and yeah so this has been this video. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Derek KK Skyscope. Peace, guys.